What's going on, everybody? Ooh. I'm back. Back in the land. All the guys went back home. We're gonna, uh... So this is a plan. We just got back from New York. And we're going to be flying out to Vegas on Thursday. And that's going to be insane. Um, yeah, so we're going to go out to Vegas. And a couple other places as well. That I'm really excited for. Um, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun in New York. That was super fun for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pop in on this live real quick. Say what's up. So, Vegas, as you guys know, is the uh, home of J-Hype. So, there is most likely going to be a Jekyll reunion happening very soon, so I'm excited for that. Are you guys going to come back to LA? Yeah, of course. That's Yeah, no, no surprise there. We're going to go back to LA at some point. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about, um, Anything. Actually, I'd wa I wanted to talk about some stuff. So, um, first of all, we went out to New York. We did a bunch of press. We went to Vivo. We went to iHeartRadio. We did the Planet Hollywood meet and greet. And I met, like, a ton of you guys there. As well as uh, we did a meet and greet at Lucky Strike Bowling Alley. That was really fun. And then we got to see our music video on Times Square, like, I think we had four different, three different billboards, one of them was the American Eagle one, so it was like five all in one, if that makes sense, but that was insane, dude, like, like, you just see yourself on, like, you just walk out and you just see yourself everywhere, It's it was crazy, um, Yeah, it was insane. What happened to Sergio's party? I don't know. I haven't heard about this party. I don't know why I wasn't invited, but I don't know. Let me see. Have you heard from Mikey? Yeah, I've talked to Mikey. I talked to Mikey a couple days ago, actually. Um. Yeah, but I'm back in Cleveland until Thursday, and then we're gonna. I don't know what I'm allowed to. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what we're doing in Vegas, but we are going to Vegas. So. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We'll make our way around. We'll come to your city eventually. I promise. And we'll definitely be back in New York sometime. I don't know. Yeah.
me see. Come back to Seattle. I'd love to visit Seattle. That'd be really fun. My whole family lives there. Are you guys going to come to Columbus? Um, I might do something in Columbus, actually. Any Sometime that I'm back here. Um, possibly soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, just a little... Just a couple... I might... There might be something in the works in Columbus, so that'll be fun. And, um... First time in New York. Uh, yeah, so, guys, it was my first time in New York, obviously, because I just said it. And, um... It was pretty crazy just to see. I, I've always seen New York, like, on... TV and in video games and stuff, so, like, walking out and seeing Times Square was really surreal for me. I just think, because I've, I've been to a couple big cities. I've been to Chicago, um, San Francisco, and uh, Washington, D.C., but it's nothing like uh, New York. New York is just, like, the buildings are so tall, and it was just, like, really crazy to see. Um... Yeah, so New York was really wild. It was really, like, chaotic, which I kind of like in the city. I like the city setting more so than the... Oh, is Miles in here? Where's Miles at? Where's Wes is the name? Wes... Wake up, Mr. Wes. Ever Mr. Wes is in the building. Ain't no question who about to kill. Um, I can't see what uh, Miles said. Uh, <laughs> okay. When are you coming back to L.A.? I don't know. Probably soon. Um. We're going to be going lots of places through this next year, just promoting the soon. The, promoting the soon. I read the word soon. Promoting the song. Wow, that was bad. Uh, but, yeah, New York was really crazy. The meet and greets were really fun. I got to meet a lot of cool people. Um, you guys gave me a lot of letters that I read on the plane and enjoyed them. What are the plans for next year? I don't know. I don't even know the plans for this month. So, Actually, yeah, I do. I don't know the plans after this month. My hair is just doing what it wants to do right now. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm pretty tired, to be honest. I'm here until Thursday, and then I'm off, and then I'm back, and then I'm going other places, and then going back, I think. Chris, type something OC-related. Oh, oh, yeah, I gotta talk about that. I gotta talk about that. So, guys, here's the username situation. I know everyone kind of freaked out. Um, so, on Twitter, as you guys know, I've been going by Michael BMOC, and, uh, that's kind of been my thing, and, uh, one day, I wake up, just like a normal day, I wake up, and then I check my Twitter, and it's always, like, it's everyone, like, freaking out, and they're like, oh my god, why'd you change your name? 
stuff like that. So everyone was freaking out about it. And uh, I was like, what are they talking about? Like, I didn't do anything. And so then I check, and it's at Michael Connor. And I'm like, ooh. So that that's what they're mad about. And, uh, yeah, so basically, if you guys haven't noticed, the social media team has, uh, has changed the, um, they changed, like, Chance's name, Sergio's name, Drew's name. Actually, they didn't change Drew's name. Drew really wants that. Drew Ramos, though. I think you should get it. And Brady's to their actual name. And they, um... Yeah, they kind of just changed my Twitter. And, uh, yeah, at first I was like, uh, I don't know if I, I'm a big fan of this. This is kind of like, what? But, honestly, it's just a username. And, I mean, it's not like BMOC is, like, gone. Like, you know what I mean? Hey, what's up, Malcolm? And, uh, and yeah, it's kind of just, like, it's just the name, to be honest. Like, it's not like BMOC's gone. And I still have it on Instagram, so... I mean, we'll have Michael Connor for that. My SoundCloud is gonna be BM Michael BMOC, so... My Snapchat, you can't change your username on Snapchat. Um, and also the thing with Instagram is... Uh, you So you can only take a name... If the uh, if there's no one using it, if that makes sense, if it's like a suspended account or if it's a inactive account, then you can. There's a possibility you can get that username. But for Instagram, there's already an active user named like at Michael Connor, so I don't see them change being able to change it. So I think Michael BMOC will live on on Instagram. So we're all good. Instagram will live on. Michael BMOC will stay. Unless they figure something out. I don't know. Um, put BMOC back in your bio. It's not a bad idea. I've thought about it. I was actually thinking about it today on Twitter. But, um, yeah, I don't know. BMOC will not die. It will live forever. Me, me, me and Chris right there. We're about to, we're about to keep it, keep the movement going. Um, and yeah, Chris, are you still in here? Just comment. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the whole deal with the username. I just got back from... From New York, here's my my pride and joy right here. I got all my um I got all my shoes and clothes from the um from the show. So these are from Timeless when I did uh when I did Living on a Prayer. These are the shoes I wore, and then um let me see. These are, no, this, that wasn't that. This was for the VMAs, actually. And then the finale were these right here. This was for the Can't Hold Us. Um, 
And then these are just some random stuff I wear. These are for uh, Since You've Been Gone. And also, what else did I wear these for? I wore them for something, I don't know. Tim's are already mine. Um, let me see, I'll show you guys all the stuff I have from the show. Here's my closet right here. Uh, we got this leather jacket right here. Forget what that's from. Oh, I was supposed to wear this for time for uh, top line actually, for Despacito, and uh, I didn't get to wear it or something because of because of whatever. This is what I actually wore for top line. That's for a meet and greet. Here's fighter. Um. Here's for Can't Hold Us. This is like a, this is a jacket that, uh, a diesel jacket that my stylist, like, put all these, um, spiky things on. This is also Fighter. This was also Fighter. This is what I wore, oh, this, dude, I love this vest. Look at this. I wore this for my, um, the Universal this is thing Logic gave me. Um, that's a cool sweatshirt I have. What else I got? Um, let me see. Oh, here's my coat from the finale. What else do I have? I think my little sister took my freaking overalls from Uptown Girl, which I'm kind of upset about. But it's okay. And then, um, yeah, I got some other stuff. But yeah. So. Keep the light. I look at the comments one time. All right, let's go back down. Hold up, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so what else do I have to talk about? Do you guys have any questions? Just like let me know. And, uh, yeah, just uh, let me know. Do you have the giraffe I gave you at Planet Hollywood? Funny you say that. I have not fully unpacked yet. But, um, let me see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Too many zippers on these things. I have the most freaking veiny arms, dude. It's ridiculous. Funny you say that. I got it right here. That's going on my bed. Nope! It fell. There we go. Um. And someone gave me this too. This little dog. Let me see. Um, and then these are from, these are also from a fighter, these shoes right here. I'm going to put them over there. These are shoes, these are the ones that I, I wore these for Uptown Girl, for Top Line, for pretty much everything. These are my go-tos. What else I got in here? The Stan Smiths. This is the... Sweatshirt I wore for the meet and greet the other day. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Everything that I got besides my, um, my overalls, which were rudely taken from me by my sister. Oh, wait, I also got the stuff that I wore in the music video.
Let me see. So, y'all, the shirt that I was wearing says Mercy, not BMOC. I saw someone was asking that. Um, but yeah. And our music video dropped too, so. Jeez, I forget. Oh, there's so much going on in the past couple days. I, like, it's just a whirlwind. Um. And yeah. So the music video dropped. The numbers are doing insanely well. We are, I think we have like 250,000 views right now. And it's like the second day. So that's that's really wild. Um and uh yeah, so like that's just crazy. I've never I Oh, also the um the cover that I did with Malcolm, the uh Bodak yellow one, that one did some crazy numbers too. I think that has around 200,000 views as well. So that's pretty crazy. I, I would have never thought that I'd be where I'm at. And if you told me like last year that I'd be where I'm at right now, I wouldn't believe you. So it's really, really humbling to see how far I've come. And I'm just ready to keep going. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but just to recap, like, seeing my video in Times Square was just, it was wild because, like, you walk, everybody walks through Times Square, and there's just so many people just walking by, and they just see us, we were standing on this little, um, this little thing, and we were surrounded by fans, and they were all, like, screaming out the words to our song. It was, it was just insane to be there and I have like a couple videos you guys could watch of it but that was such a surreal moment just seeing myself on Times Square and uh, I hope that one day we'll be able to perform there like maybe for the um, for like New Year's or something that'd be insane Jay wait where's Jay Jay's not in here no way Hold up. Jay, say something. Where's the keychain I got you? Keychain you got me actually in my backpack that's not a keychain that's day quill because I had a cold um, I'm looking for it right now I know what's in here it's for my you guys are getting so many freaking high shoes Shout out to IRL BMOC Haichu and OG Boy Band fan for these. Uh, again, they got me some more. And, um, let me see. I'm looking for it right now. I know I have it in here. Oh, wait. I think I found it. Yep, right here. One with the M on it. This is New York. Yep. Also, shout out to whoever made me this uh, BMOC bracelet. It's probably one of the coolest things ever. I wear it every day. I don't take it off. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. I think there's this uh, one with these beads. It's colorful. Someone made me. I don't know where it is. Oh, I got like a whole bag of them right here. Oh yeah, it's right here. This one. Super dope. Really, really a fan of that. Uh, 
But yeah, guys. Oh, there's Jay. All right. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know what else I have to say other than our Christmas single is one of the dopest songs ever. And uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Is it a fake account? That's not Jay? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, man. That's annoying. Jeez. Yeah, our, uh, our Christmas single is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy it. And, uh, what's up, Cal? Um, and yeah, so... I'm going to I'm going to go but it was super fun talking to you guys and uh just had some stuff I wanted to talk about cuz I don't really get a lot of time to do these live streams anymore and I really miss doing that so I'm going to sign off Jhab needs to be verified facts but um on a side note one of my one of my best friends uh Chris is in here and um he's going to go live after mine's over and uh he could, he got he whoa 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 did you just hear that that was really bad um he's going to go live so you guys can go join his live after this you can ask him questions about me we basically started music together so um, just anything you want to ask him, uh, yeah, just feel free, and, um, he's the guy pinned right here, so, he's the guy pinned, at ChrisBMOC, go give him a follow right now, go spam his page, I'm gonna go spam a bunch of people who show him love, and, uh, just join his live right after this, okay? I would really appreciate it. I'm going to be checking, too. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm signing off now. Go, uh, go join his live. Peace out.